Ubuntu 14.10, codenamed Utopic Unicorn, has to be about one of the most uninspiring releases of Ubuntu that I've seen. So what has changed at first glance from Ubuntu 14.04? Absolutely nothing. Most of the work has gone into Unity 8, which is the new touchscreen mobile tablet interface for Ubuntu. So the predecessor for Unity, Unity 7, is more in maintenance only mode, with only a few bug fixes taken care of. But there have been a couple of other changes, so I'm going to go across to the internet to have a look. So we now have Maz introducing Metal as a service. This is an enterprise thing, management of cloud infrastructure, various different environments. I'm not going to read up on it because, to be honest, it really has no interest to in me as a home Linux user and for what my channel is catering for. And this as well, a Juju, automate your cloud infrastructure. Now, have I just confused the two between each other? I don't know. As I said, I'm really not going to read up on either of them. That's a couple of new features there. Over on Kubuntu side, this is a bit different again because we now have two releases of Kubuntu. We now have the stable Plasma 4 desktop, which again is in maintenance only mode, like Unity 7. And we now have a new release of Plasma 5 for those who are brave enough to try it out in a new environment. And I did give it a go a while back and it was lacking in features somewhat. But perhaps one of the new releases I'm more excited about is Ubuntu Mate which is more of a throwback to how Ubuntu used to look pre-Unity days back in 2010. So probably looking like Ubuntu 10.10, .10, which was one of my more favourite releases of Ubuntu. Although I do like Unity now, back then, 10.10 .10 was pretty good. Well since very little has changed, I'm just going to do a quick run through the system and not going to spend too long doing this review. So the layout of the desktop is still pretty much the same in Ubuntu. So you've got Unity Launcher, top left hand side. It displays your most recently used applications and documents. And if you do a search here you can get internet results which may or may not be useful. I don't know, it depends how you view it. It does slow down the searches which is a bit annoying so I tend to turn it off through the privacy tool. That does look quite a bit more presentable than the attempt that Windows 10 have made. You've got shortcuts to all the applications here. And then on the right hand side, you've got shutdown menu, time calendar, volume, media player control, keyboard shortcut settings, and network. Now notice the boot up is slightly slower this time with Ubuntu, and it takes about a couple of seconds longer than 14.04 used to. And memory usage seems quite chunky this time around. I've had this vary between about 500 to 550 meg at boot up before anything's opened. I think that's around 100 meg higher than it used to be. So there's a change, but no real reason for the change. LibreOffice has been uplifted, I think it was version 4.3.2. That's nice. Of course you do get newer software with the later versions of Ubuntu, so if you do like to stay on the bleeding edge, that could be an incentive for you to move to this version. Uh, well, Firefox gets uplifted anyway in Ubuntu 14.04. But you do have the shorter support time, so that could be the difference between you choosing long-term support of Ubuntu 14.04, which is 5 years, or Ubuntu 14.10, which is 9 months. The styling is so limited now in Ubuntu that you can't move the close, minimize, and maximize buttons to the right-hand side. You can change themes and wallpaper. Uh, yeah, we've got a new selection of wallpapers now. Very nice, but um, actually that's not a bad wallpaper, that one. But there are a couple of features that you never used to be able to do in Ubuntu, that, such as putting the menus back in the window title bar. That came around though in version 14.04, if you weren't aware of it already. I'm without much more to say, I'll just take a real quick glance through the applications. Uh, this is filter results, go to maximize on there, and what a faff that is now compared to Kubuntu. Under accessories, yeah, that's probably about what you'd expect to see. And media, now we have cheese pre-installed now, it's different. Otherwise you've got Rivenbox for your audio player and Totem for your video player. You do need to install the third party codex through the Ubuntu restricted extras package. On games, it's just a few small lightweight games. Internet. Thunderbird for email, Firefox for your web browser, and transmission BitTorrent client. 
That icon for Canonicals browser looks so out of place there, doesn't it? For Office, you just got the partial suite of LibreOffice containing Calc, Draw, Impress, and Writer. And here's what I thought of Ubuntu 1410. Well, there's a few bug fixes on Unity 7 desktop. Well, you can't knock bug fixes, nothing wrong with that. But there's not much real visible progress on Unity 7 desktop. Well, not really, because most of the work has been on Unity 8, as I point out down there. You've got a short support time of only 9 months, and there's still the limited flexibility on styling. If you want the bleeding edge software, go for Ubuntu 14.10. If you want stability, long term support, take Ubuntu 14.04. There's your two choices there. Or try one of the other distros, there's a third option. Overall, I've given this distro a 70%. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.